we have two cameras that we're talking about today. There's a desktop version called the Pro 9000 and the notebook version called the uh, Pro for Notebooks, Quick Hand Pro for Notebooks. And what's extraordinary about both of these products, everything that I'm going to describe between these two is exactly the same. It's just a form factor difference between the two. Uh, it starts out with the kind of image quality that you can see here, this, this clarity and detail that previously has not been achievable by anybody, including ourselves. And there's a couple of reasons why these products perform so well. The first is that we've signed an exclusive uh, partnership with uh, Carl Zeiss. Um, they partnered with a few uh, manufacturers in different categories, Sony for SLR cameras and Nokia for cell phones lenses. Uh, Logitech is the exclusive partner for webcam lenses. And uh, really, these guys are perhaps the premier lens manufacturer in the world. They've been around for almost 200 years. They make lenses for everything from microscopes, telescopes, planetariums, um, Neil Armstrong's shots of Moonrise were taken with a uh, Hasselblad camera with Carl Zeiss lenses. They do uh, cinematography lenses. So these guys really uh, know what they're doing. Uh, the story from Logitech for the last couple of years has been about uh, lens quality. And we've been doing a lot of work on our own in terms of improving, improving web camera lenses. But now we've taken it to a whole new level in terms of our partnership with Carl Zeiss. So that's one of the key reasons why you're seeing this product perform. Now the second thing about this product um, is this is the first camera from Logitech to include autofocus. Now you've seen autofocus in the past. You mentioned the EyeSight, which is embedded. I don't know, did you ever use the EyeSight, which was the external one? Yes, and it has autofocus. It does have autofocus, and that's why I say this is the first one from Logitech. But the performance of this is very different. Um, it's very quick and it's very fluid. One of the things that you saw in the EyeSight, this is actually a, a, a bottom center weighted system to uh, focus on sort of where your body would be. In the case of the EyeSight, it was actually a, a, a different mechanical system and it was a two-step. So what you would see is if you put something close to it, you would actually hear it click. It would physically click. Yes. and it would move and then it would snap into near focus and then it would snap into far focus. With this uh, type of design, that's not what you see. You see how it's very fluid as it's moving in and out. So it's a very different technology. It's also very fast right. as it's responding, even in sort of moderate lighting. But you like do, you do here. hear. You do, do, you, do you hear? You're not supposed no, to No, okay, you, you, you hear. shouldn't hear. It's, okay. it's, uh, the technology happens to be called a voice coil motor. They're virtually silent uh, technologies. So that's the second thing that's really helping the quality that you see here. And the third is that we've upped the megapixel pixel performance with both cameras to 2 megapixel. Versus? The previous generation uh, high-end for us is 1.3 megapixel. So this allows taking of HD video 960 by 720. You can take photos up to 8 megapixels interpolated. And the photo quality that you can get from this product is pretty astounding. These are pictures that I took on my desk at work. These are I printed these at Kinko's. Um, candidly, I was pretty blown away. Well, first, I've never printed photos at Kinko's before. They, they do a really good job. <laughs> but the photos themselves are really wow. incredible. And, and that's taken by? That's by taken by this camera on my desk at work. It wasn't like a, you know, we didn't hire anybody or anything like that. I just wanted to see what we get. We've never done anything like this in the past. Um, to show to people, and I was really astounded, so I bring them with me now to show the kind of quality. Now, a couple of things to make sure you're aware of other capabilities that we have. The first is uh, what we call Logitech so Video. We, these are called uh, face accessories. Um, and what's interesting about these is that they move with you. So they're not like um, these static, uh, sort of front view things that you're seeing from competitors. Um, this is very advanced technology that is actually tracking up to uh, 28 places on your face. And so the other thing about these is that they scale with you. So if you lean forward, you'll see the glasses will get bigger. Yeah. So it's pretty sophisticated technology. Wow. So we have face accessories, uh, and there's tons of these. These are uh, available for free download. And, I mean, in this case, it almost looks real. That's how good these things are. Yeah, it could, it could, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we also have avatars, which are quite fun. These are full replacements. Now, these also move with you. He'll smile with you. No hands. No hands. And no okay. tongue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so these move with you. There's another one that's quite, uh, quite fun. This one actually um, will move as well. And with me, for whatever reason, his, his ears go up with my eyebrows, which is kind of fun. Ah, <laughs> now, we've had these for a couple of years, but they're very, very popular. What we've added new this year to the video effects lineup is what we're calling fun filters. These are full video overlays with different kinds of effects. So we're shipping with 10 different effects, and we'll be adding more uh, as, as time goes on. And like the, the other video effects, the avatars and face accessories, I was mentioning we add more. We have over uh, 250 different pieces of content available for download between the two. Okay. Can third parties uh, create video effects, or is it open? Or It is not open. Uh, okay. That's also a common question that we get. Um, but there are some uh, reasons why we need to keep it proprietary. It's actually quite difficult to produce them, um, and we don't have an SDK to do it. So uh, we do keep that exclusive to All of those video effects will work with any IM client. So we're looking at it locally here, we're not doing a video call, but it will work if you're using Skype or MSN or Yahoo. So somebody on Skype will see me with the glasses. Exactly, okay. exactly. So you can use it in, in real time that way, or you can use it to um, record or take photos. So I have a coworker that actually, he travels a lot, and he uses um, video effects with his daughters, he has twin daughters, and he will call home and he'll read stories to them at night, and he'll do it in character. And now when he calls, that's what they want to see. They're like, you know, be the dragon, be the dragon. <laughs> it's very funny. So there's certainly the YouTube crowd, but there's, there's other fun aspects of it, too, which make it really an improvement. So our uh, microphone audio technology is called Right Sound. Previously, Right Sound only included echo cancellation. What we've added this year with these two cameras is background noise suppression. So if you have a fan running, um, you can actually hear a hum that's coming right now. Um, this would cancel out that kind of static noise. So that's new with, with right sound. Yeah, there's, abso there's absolutely no difference other than form factor. And the biggest form factor difference is the clip. So if you remember our pro camera from last year, the clip was slightly different. We've modified it now so that it will work on larger multimedia notebooks up to 20, 20 millimeters. Um, our previous generation camera, as well as competitors' cameras, can't work on that size, and they also won't work on the IBM style with the thin protruding end that, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but they've got a very unique lip. It's, it's almost like this. It's a very thin piece, and other uh, notebook webcams can't work on it. So this is designed to be universal, but it's still just for notebooks. It won't work on a flat panel. So. If you have a, a flat panel CRT or you use it on a desk, then you would need to use this design. Okay. But still, you, it's still possible to use that um, It is. On the We've made it possible on the laptop. And what we find is, a, a, in fact, all of our clips on all of our desktop cameras will work on either. We design them that way because we find a lot of multi-PC households need that usage. Um, and I'm that way. I have a desktop one that I use at home in this scenario. But when I travel, I bring it with me to use on my notebook. So uh, we make them that way. Now the other thing about these, um, if you're interested when we send you a sample, you'll see we ship this with a 8-inch desktop stand as well as a travel case. So it's possible to use it in a design like this, but you would have to put it on the stand, then you'd leave the stand and you'd take it with you. Okay. So we make them pretty versatile.